I'm so, I, 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 sorry to change the subject. I, there's something that I do want to mention that, you know, the whole uh, controversy with Star Wars. There's one thing that I do like. Mark Campbell, like, he embraces way too much with his fans. No, that's what I love about him. Whoa, what the hell? No, because there, um, there was a clip where he was, um, where he's, like, playing around with some people. One of which is that they're in, like, some kind of photo shoot, and they're, like, working on a scene that's referencing the ending of uh, Force Awakens, where Rey is holding the lightsaber towards uh, Luke Skywalker. And the person thinks that um, it's a cosplayer of uh, uh, Luke, but it's actually Mark Hamill. He just comes with, like, he, like, takes off his hoodie, and he's like, And I came with a hand. Did you bring that, too? <laughs> <laughs> it's a like, goddamn Mark. You have way too much fun. That's the point. Like what? I mean, that, I mean, you you would have a such a job if you didn't enjoy it, right? Yeah. True, but there's a lot of actors who are assholes. So. Well, the saying goes: if you love your job, you'll never work a day in your life. This man clearly loves his job, and he really Fuck. loves this man, so he likes to get back. And I support and praise any celebrity that does that back. And, that, and I know how hard that is for celebrities to do that. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I mean, would you believe that uh, it's really been just um, me? And I get this a lot with fans, so I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. But every now and then I will get a message from a fan that will claim that it's either me or Golden. That considered to be the best Brony analysis to talk to for fans because we actually respond. Oh, uh Luigi man, um, I can understand you not being a big fan of Star Wars. I'm gonna also be a, like, it's gonna be personal saying this, but um, Dog. I I am ashamed of being a Star Wars fan. And don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, I enjoy the movies. But the fan base has become so much more toxic, it's horrible. Okay, by that present okay, by that viewpoint, all fandoms are toxic. Well this well, this one caused Jake Lloyd to be bullied. There was harassment with the actress who played Rose in The Last Jedi. And I recently saw a video where the actor who played Jar Jar Binks, at the time when the Phantom Menace was out, oh those are the little guys I was talking about earlier, Deckard. They taken oh. care of Bison. Anyways, uh, the actor who played as Jar Jar Binks at that time, he almost killed himself. He was gonna jump off the New York Bridge. Oh shit. Yeah. And I'm just like... It, it seems like nobody learned anything, you know, throwing shit at the people who made Star Wars. Like, I will give you this. Ryan Johnson, I have no respect for him. And I'm glad that J.J. Abrams has taken on Episode Nine. Yeah. But... If it's driving people from being mentally damaged from bullying because of how Star Wars is being treated and everything, it's just good lord. Like if you think that you think that fandoms are bad, Star Wars took it way too far. And Star Wars is bad. Star Trek has been bad before. Sonic, don't even start. Uh, <laughs> Brony, Brony fandom unfortunately has its bad rep. So this furry fandom. Let, let's. Again, let's not kid ourselves. Not all, no fandom or geek community or whatever you want to call it is perfect. So I don't like to really label that. Oh well, this community is toxic. Well, oh well, this this fandom is toxic. I I, yeah. I don't like doing that anymore. I really don't. Yeah, I would. Because you're basically generalizing the entire fan base and not everyone in the fan. And that's body. that's the thing when I say that. I don't mean to generalize every fandom. I mean, I still enjoy Steven, Steven Universe and I enjoy the fan work, but I am aware of the stupidity that caused the, you know, that one fan artist that almost uh, got driven to suicide because Rose Quartz was drawn paper thin. And I'm just like, guys, it's fucking fan art. Grow up. Yeah, I mean. But that, that that doesn't affect the like that doesn't mean I'm gonna hate the fandom entirely. Well, it's like here, here's a good example. I stay away from the Sonic fandom. Do I think the Sonic fandom is bad? No. I think there are certain individuals I'm trying to keep away from are not good. Yeah. Yeah, but with the regard of Star Wars, it's not even a vocal minority anymore. Celebrities are being harassed at this, and it's just that's getting ridiculous. I mean, I know about the whole. 
uh, controversy with uh, Amy Keating Rogers and uh, staff members of um, MLP getting death threats before, but this is just a whole new level. It's like mentally damaging their lives. And to, Jedi, don't get me popular. Jedi, don't get me started about what's happening in Dragon Ball. I am trying not to think about it. Don't be started um, with me. I'm afraid to ask. I'm trying to I like Dragon Ball. Well. Don't start with me. Not, I also no, no, like no. Dragon Ball. There's something that happened recently involving the Dragon Ball series that... Yeah, oh, let me, let me guess. I'm going gonna, gonna to take a guess. It had what? something to do with feminism. No. Not exactly. Not exactly. Wow. Related to what happened to Vic Manana. Yeah, uh, and they're already they're already been confirmed false, and and um Vic is lawyering up right now. He's going with a lawyer. Yeah. Mm. Apparently. Monica, yeah. He wins. Okay, Monica, the voice of Bulma, the new Bulma, tried to make try to ruin Vic Manana, basically. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Succeeded I read it because, again, Funimation oh, ditched out right. and Rooster Teeth ditched out. Yeah. Because, you know, Rooster Teeth lost all of its humanity when it became popular, I guess. Yeah. Let's try, let's try not to get too much in detail about that, otherwise we'll get attacked by feminism. We, yeah. Do you think let's I can? But that guy's uh, I don't need to do it. The voice actors do it for me. Let's try to go for a much more, let's try to go for a much more positive topic. Yeah, that's the subject. For okay. A long time ago. Like I wanted to talk. Yeah, I to uh, bring up my favorite video game villain, Zayanort from the Kingdom Hearts series. Okay. Oh, good choice, dude. His plot yes. Awesome. Dude. <laughs> I was gonna Zaynor. say, we trying to for each other? my mind. Sorry. Um, Jay Please also asked a while back. I um, uh, I was able to notice this question. He asked a while back. Hang on, let me try to find it. I think it was Jedi. No, it was uh, um, something else. Where was it? Hang on, let me go back hmm. up. <laughs> um, there it is. Yeah, Derek Labroni asks. Now I'll ask to you all: favorite video game weapon? Oh, favorite video. Ooh, ooh, ooh give me a minute. Video game weapon. <laughs> well, uh, the speed. Okay, count. since I played the Xenoborg for over 15 years, it would be two through my claws count. Because <laughs> I, I just that... love tearing things apart. I think we could count that, Bliss. Um, I don't know if this counts as a weapon, then it does as a power up, but uh, the screw attack. <laughs> um, you can annihilate okay. anything that touches you. Okay, mine is actually pretty simple it's Cooper's Cane from Sly Cooper. I love that weapon. That weapon is so fun. I actually made a replica of it on my own. You probably know my obvious. Family. Ooh, Zero Saber. That's a good one. Um, uh, Morpheus. Ooh, I'd bother saying mine because it's it, it's very obvious. Go ahead, dude. Some kind of Keyblade. Yes. <laughs> Which Keyblade, key though? Ah, uh, the original. Freaking Keyblade, ah. fans. <laughs> so hey. Okay, okay do, um, can someone buy it? explain it? Okay. okay, aside aside from the Keyblades, but my favorite would have to be Kratos' axe from the God of War PS4 game. My favorite was going to be the original Blades of Chaos from God of War. Ooh, I know which axe you're talking about. You're talking about from the recent one, aren't you? Yes, yes, the yes that one. Ooh, Ooh, that axe is so cool. I love its design. Mm -hmm. Man, that, that game was pretty. I love the the graphics in that game. It's so pretty. Shit. Oh, me too. I'm a sucker for winter forests, so anything involving starting out in a wintry forest area, I'm a sucker for it. I just love it to pieces. And you're going to love Norse mythology because it, it's mm, yeah, yeah, it's heavily it's, it's heavily uh, focused on <laughs> it's okay, heavily had... focused on winter settings. Yeah, I actually had to go for an actual physical weapon. Hmm. Uh, can you Floor two, the double barrel hunting shotgun, or the AA shotgun. Ooh. That's some good weapons right there, Bliss. Dang. I like, I'm a Texan, and can't you tell? I love my shotguns. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you did not shut the finger so, did you? You derailed up the posse. I hit you in the street and shit you off with my shotgun. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Blizz. I'm gonna 
Yeehaw! <laughs> Not that. <laughs> Get out of my property! <laughs> you sounded like Granny Smith for a second. Y'all gonna do a Texan accent, at least do it right, and I'm gonna round up the posses and hang all on the street. Oh, you shut up, you freaking Cali. <laughs> <laughs> like, I dude, know. I so had to do that. Pussy. Okay. Oh my god, you freaking Callies with your freaking perfect <laughs> freaking wildfires and freaking earthquakes. Yeah, I wouldn't last one second in tornado season. Oh, lordy. I love how you guys are throwing shade. I love how you guys are throwing shade about fucking like the different stereotypes of the states, and I'm just sitting here. I'm just sitting here thinking of something really horrible I could do. Let's well, see when we when I see you at Brody Cut, I'm gonna give you a hug. Uh, I know a lot of people. Oh look, it's the saw. Actually, okay, I'm, I'm a gent I'm gentle with my hugs, so you don't have to worry. I'm a gentle okay, hugger. I'm I just want to point out, me and Ellie once got into an angry Brooklyn versus angry Texan accent. It was all fucking hilarious. Oh, Morpheus up top, man. What did he say? He didn't say anything. He... Oh, did he? He clipped it. he recorded. He clipped it. My shotgun. <laughs>